Hello students, in uh, today's online session, we will learn how to build our own toys using some available material around us or in, in our lab. We will primarily be using a BO motor, DC motor. Let's see what uh, we are going to build today. I mean, along with this uh, skiing, uh, skiing man, skiing robot, we are also going to build some other toys. This is how it is going to be, uh, you know, looking like this is how it is going to work. So what we are primarily going to use in uh, today's session in two, three toys that we are going to display is use of this dual shaft BO motor or DC geared motor. Let's see, uh, this works on 3 to 12 volt. We can also uh, make it work on 1.5 volt. It has uh, basically uh, a gear reduction. If you open this, basically there are in there are DC uh, motor and uh, gears and a rotor. We will see this mechanism in detail. This is how the animation of the geared DC motor looks like. So uh, inside that there is a rotor and the gears. So let's open uh, this bio motor or gear motor. This is the DC motor. Once you open the casing, then there are gears, the uh, speed reduction gears. We have now taken them off along with the shaft. So let's now open the DC motor also. So you open the case. So this is basically a stator with magnets. Now we are going to remove the, uh, so this is basically a rotor with a copper coil and a stator with magnets. So let's see how it works. We are going to put it back again as it was assembled earlier. We, we have reassembled it. Let's see basically how it works. So it has two terminals. Uh, you can give uh, ground and uh, VCC to either of the terminals. It doesn't matter. This bio motor doesn't have polarity. So currently we are working, making it work on uh, six volts. It doesn't have polarity as said. If you connect the terminals, uh, you know, the positive and negative terminal to the opposite terminal of the motor, only difference it makes is the motor uh, runs clockwise in this case. And if you connect the positive and negative terminal, the other way it runs the counterclockwise or yeah. So these are basically the components inside the gear motor. So the main components are basically the gears. They are plastic gears. Uh, in engineering term, they are called as spur gears. So the electrical components, this is a stator. And these are brushes with uh, negative and positive terminal. This is a rotor. So how it works, uh, we are going to see uh, in uh, the animation. So this is basically rotating at a very low speed, the double shaft. So you can see the speed decreases here because the gear ratio and another point where the speed decreases. So there are two gears where the speed is decreased and the torque is increased at the same time. Apart from what it is originally giving. So now this is how the DC uh, motor works. So when there are uh, positive and negative connections made, so the electricity that is passed through the uh, rot rotor so commutator plate passes on the uh, electricity and the coil and this is how the uh, motor will run so the brushes will get the vcc and ground connection so you can interchange the vcc and ground connection the motor will rotate in the opposite direction so this is primarily how bo motor works or the gear dc motor works so now the material required for our today's uh, toy is basically hot glue gun, ice cream sticks, stripper, uh, soldering material, wires, 1.5 volt uh, battery, a switch, a plastic tennis ball, then some stationery. We are also going to use the DC uh, drill along with the dr uh, drilling, drill bits. So now let's see the procedure. So we have taken the ice cream stick. The first, now let's make the hands for the skiing robot. So six centimeters, we, we have marked the first ice cream sticks at six centimeter. We are going to cut that ice cream stick using the stripper. Do not break it with hands. It will get cracked unevenly. So the first ice cream stick, the first hand of the skiing robot. Now we are going to cut 
the second arm second hand of the the another hand of the skiing robot so uh, 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 one more time 6 cm so cut this uh, stick also to the 6 cm using the stripper now once we have cut these two arms let's keep them together aside so that we know they are going to be used for you know as arms later now using the cut uh, ice cream sticks only we we are going to use it for other parts so now uh, let's basically make the uh, legs legs of the skiing robot using the cut uh, the other half of the cut ice cream stick so this is approximately 5 cm we are good with uh, that so basically we are going to have yeah, this is 5 cm so what we are going to do is we are going to mark 4 and at 4 and 1/2 cm on one edge of that ice cream stick that part of the ice cream stick 4 and 1/2 cm and we are going to draw a slanted line we are going to basically draw a slanted line we are going to cut it so this is basically 4 and 1/2 cm one edge uh, and we will if it is difficult to cut it uh, along that edge we we are going to add a slanted line so we are going to make a slanted line and we are going to cut uh using the stripper along that slanted line so this ice cream stick one edge is going to be 4 and 1/2 cm and the other edge is going to be 5 cm so it is going to be little slanted okay. now we have cut it so this is one leg of this skiing robot so we are going to make another uh leg same dimensions one edge is going to be 5 cm and another edge is going to be 4 and 1/2 cm so th same thing we will do add a slanted line and cut along with that cut along that slanted line using the stripper okay make sure that keep your stationery just close by the uh, ruler and pencil nearby so now we have made two legs for the skiing robot we will keep those uh, legs aside for a while so that we are going to use them later so now let's um now let's make uh, the other parts of the skiing robot so we are going to cut the uh half of the leg exactly at 3 and 1/2 cm so it is basically the upper half of the leg one side 3 and 1/2 cm just mark it uh, correctly and this is for the left leg so the upper half of the left leg so let's cut it 3 and 1/2 cm both do not uh, change the dimensions because they may uh, change the overall structure of the skiing robot so we are going to maintain the dimensions same both for right and left leg of the robot if they are changed if they are uneven your robot will not work the way it is it needs to work so these are two upper half of the uh, legs now let's do uh, some soldering work but before we do that uh, we are also going to cut some two small uh, parts from the ice cream stick so those we are going to use later at the end of the assembly keep them nearby the two ice cream sticks just like that now cutting off the ice cream sticks for legs hands uh, and joints for the skiing board is done so now let's basically stick using the glue stick let's stick the arms so approximately 1 cm uh, from the straight edge of the arms mark using the marker 
and now take the hot glue gun by the time you do all this cutting make sure that you are keeping the hot glue gun uh, on so that it gets heated so apply the hot glue along the lines uh, these two lines that at 1 cm now stick this one arm on one shaft of the dc motor the dc geared motor make sure that you keep it on the floor so that you get exactly uh, get an idea keep the motor straight upright ask uh, your friend to hold it while you apply the glue gun all around the motor shaft right now it is not visible but yes we have applied the glue gun all around the shaft along the ice cream stick so that the ice cream stick get uh, stuck you know correctly so now this is one arm ready now we will keep it allow it to dry allow the glue to dry same thing we will do for the other arm put the glue gun at that one centimeter line that we have drawn for the second arm now make sure that you put this second arm exactly parallel to the first one do not change the orientation exactly both of the arms of the skiing man should be exactly parallel like this check the orientation from all angles now apply the glue gun apply apply the hot glue from all the sides for the second arm and now your arms are assembled properly keep that aside for now allow it to dry for some time now let's assemble the legs the upper part of the legs so take that three and a half centimeter uh, part apply the hot glue gun on this part of the motor put this uh, stick this uh, stick uh, stick this part at an angle like that and now the bottom part of the leg make sure that the last line is exactly parallel to the board so that your robo can stand apply the hot glue gun at the edge of that upper part of the leg and put your yeah bottom part of the leg just like you know if you keep it stand the edge will be parallel to the ground now apply the hot glue gun on the other side for the second leg yeah glue that uh, upper part of the leg and then apply the glue for the bottom part of the left leg now your robo should be able to stand so that that's why we have cut the slanted uh, the the stick slanted now let's do some electrical connect, electronic connections uh, we have taken one cable strip that cable from both ends now the second cable again strip this uh, this cable also from both ends now we will cut one of the cables halfway because we are going to add switch strip those uh, all the cables all the joints now keep the soldering gun uh, uh, you know on so that it gets hot by the time now apply some soldering material on the motor terminals you can also do soldering before applying before gluing the uh, ice cream sticks it is easy rather uh, we have done it the other way we have stick the uh, uh, we have uh, you know added the uh, ice cream sticks first we, we have glued the ice cream sticks first and then we are doing soldering you can do other way also now solder uh, on the one terminal solder one of these small cables on one terminal now take one switch you know push button switch like that flat one apply some soldering material on both the terminals of the switch just we have shown take some uh, ice cream stick below that so that you don't damage the cutting mat we don't recommend using soldering gun on the cutting mat take something below your parts just like wooden some parts now solder that wire 
to one terminal of the switch. Since we have already applied some material, now take the second wire, solder it to the other terminal of the switch. Now the let's solder the other wire on the other terminal of the motor so that we have connected both the terminals of the motor take some help of your uh, friend or your uh, teacher in case you are you need some help to access uh, the uh, both the terminals now let's try switching the uh, yeah button on we need uh, to rotate the hands counterclockwise of the robo so let's check which terminal of the battery we are going to connect to uh, you know which terminal of the motor so make a connection in a such a way that your robo hands should run counterclockwise anti clockwise now apply the glue gun uh, apply the hot glue on the back side of the motor for battery so we are going to use 1.5 uh, volt battery we are going to connect the negative terminal we are going to solder it you can also use battery holder but it is going to increase the weight now this terminal of the battery the other wire we are going to solder on the positive terminal of the battery make sure that you you know uh, assemble the wires properly so that they don't get entangled solder them properly now your electrical connections are ready keep that aside now we are going to assemble uh, we are going to glue the robo on the skiing board exactly half five and half centimeter so this ice cream stick is 11 centimeter at exactly half five and half centimeter we have marked the line applied the hot glue using the gun keep your hot glue gun on until all the connections are done now on one of the legs exactly halfway put this ice cream stick exactly flat on that leg now we have uh, assembled one board now another board exactly same uh, take it halfway five and a half centimeter make sure that you use flat uh, flat ice cream stick sometimes they are bent so use the correct ice cream stick another uh, on same thing five and a half centimeter exactly at half apply the hot glue and put this on the second just below the second leg now in this case you can put it uh, just like the other first one and now check whether both the boards are parallel and flat you know they should be at equal distance from each other also now put the robo on the ground so that the skiing board are flat to the ground now we are we are checking whether they are exactly parallel and flat uh, parallel to each other and flat to the ground now to make the skiing board strong we are going to add those two small pieces of ice cream sticks so that your skiing boards remain together so the joints become strong the skiing board becomes strong you know apply this small piece of ice cream stick just to connect the two skiing boards okay now do exactly same thing let's first glue the uh, button on the skiing board itself apply some hot glue gun just behind the legs why we are going to assemble uh, going to glue the uh, button on the switchboard because it becomes easy for you to switch on and off the motor when the robo is actually working if you put the switch on some other place it, it will become little difficult to uh, difficult to uh, switch on and off the button now we have glued the button just behind the legs Okay, just allow it to dry. Okay, now another uh, 
apply some hot glue gun just uh, behind the button so that we can add the small part that we have cut just behind the button so that the uh, skiing board is again become strong now let's we are going to make uh, we are going to make the skiing stick so for that we need earbuds so take the cotton from one end of the first earbud take it up uh, take it off properly you know you can take stripper or you can you know, take it using hands now uh, do the same thing with the another earbud take take out the cotton from only from one end of both the earbuds we need the cotton on the other end just like that we have you know removed for both uh, both the earbuds now we are going to use this earbuds as skiing stick of the robo okay now keep the uh, take the robo and start applying the hot glue gun on one arm okay apply the hot glue and stick the uh, glue the uh, earbud in this particular angle okay now do do it with the second arm okay so your earbud angle should be like this your arm should be exactly parallel to the ground arms of robo should be parallel to the ground and earbud should be stick like this so that when it rotates when it comes exactly perpendicular the earbuds come perpendicular to the ground their height should be more than the skiing board so when it gets touched to the ground the robo can start jumping now apply the hot glue all around the uh, all around the earbuds now our robo is ready now let's take a tennis ball uh, we are going to make a drill use the gloves okay take a 6 7 mm drill make a hole like this apply hot glue gun on the top part of the motor where you know you are going to uh, put that ball through that hole now the head of the skiing man is ready take a marker and you know start drawing eyes and you know emojis as per your choice the happy skiing man you are adding eyes and nose and this is how your skiing man is ready allow it to dry all the joints now it is ready for now this is how it is going to work make the switch on and it is it will start jumping using those yeah so this is how it will work so this is basically 100 rpm dc gear motor you need to use 100 rpm questions please post them on the channel so we learned about uh, using dc geared motor to make skiing man skiing man with wheels then uh, jumping frog and jumping frog you can use uh, cardboard or plywood also any questions you can post them on uh, the channel i hope you like this and you thoroughly enjoyed today's session thank you very much for patiently listening to the session i am available on the channel uh, for you know taking your questions so thank you very much. I hope you will enjoy making your own toys using the DC gear.